Pero, eh, entiendo que el llamado de Dios es, es God's calling is for any part of the world. But uh, there was a long time ago that I was praying and I was called I was called and understood that specifically I was supposed to come to Boston. Bueno, cuando llegamos aquí hace alrededor de unos 12 años, eh, pues encontramos eh, que no había una congregación hispana en este lugar. When we got here about 12 years ago, we learned that there was no Hispanic congregation here. Even though we didn't know the language or their idiosyncrasies, we were actually called to become minister here. When my husband uh, talked to me about coming to Boston, uh, I think I was prepared because it was a, a long, long time of prayer that God um, spoke to my husband saying that we want to serve him uh, outside the borders of Costa Rica. Y siempre he creído que cuando las cosas son difíciles es, por, es porque Dios está... I always understood that when things are hard it's because God is about to do something uh, miraculous in that place. The churches of our conference can be proud of the miracles that are happening in this ministry because of their support. There are young folks, teens, whose faith is becoming awake in new ways, whose lives are being changed, and because of that, they are changing their own families and the culture around them. There are folks who are citizens of our country who are facing economic, cultural challenges in their lives, uh, and the ministries of these churches is helping them with the resources, the guidance, and support they need not just to survive, but to, to live and contribute in, in whole new ways. My job became to be the coordinator for the Hispanic ministries in Massachusetts. I met with Pastor Cesar um, seven years ago in the church. It was a Christmas time. And that's how we started working with Danesa in law. And the first time I saw her, I told her that she was going to be a leader within our church. And Danesa at the time didn't want anything to do with any church, and, but there was something, because I kept talking to her, and there was something that happened that turned things around. What's changed me is the, um, the blessings and how he has the goal and the enthusiasm to work as building churches and being able to work with ministers to um, plant churches. So the relationship has changed based on that because of the, um, the goals and the faith and the ability of his work. Y por el dinamismo de ella, yo vi un tremendo potencial de liderazgo en su persona. And because she was so dynamic, I saw a lot of potential for leadership in her. And I kept teaching her uh, through Bible studies and to talk to her about leadership within the church. I'm going to read the story of Hannah, which is in First of Samuel. And we also opened a school, a, leader, a leadership school, that she started attending to develop uh, leadership qualities. My church is um, located in Lowell, and we are um, part of the um, UCC. We are located with the Christ Church United, and our church has, it's full of youth. Uh, we have around 30 to 50 um, kids in the church, um, and we meet every Friday nights and Sunday nights at six o'clock in the afternoon. Um, our goal as a church is that uh, we work with the youth, and through the youth, the parents will start coming to the church. I had the delight one night to sit in on one of the Friday evening services with Deneza and the young folks up at CCU Lowell who are part of the Hispanic ministry. It was a ministry that allowed them, that encouraged them to discover the Bible. And not only did they discover it, but they had a longing to, to delve more deeply into it and let that sharing of scripture shape them and, and shape each other. And in turn, they would tell stories of how their families uh, were changing because they were changing. As they changed their behavior, their own families were becoming more, more grounded, more stable, uh, a deeper sense of wholeness and healing for the families. Definitivamente es tan importante, ya que si las estadísticas establecen que... It is definitely very important 
because the statistics say that the best way for the UCC to embrace the Hispanic community is through the Hispanic ministries. We are teaching the kids what part of the UCC is because we come from a different background. So we have to be able to um, uh, give them the information on how it works. And that's part of what we're doing with the ministry, with the Hispanic ministry in my church. No solamente cree en Dios, sino que también le cree a Dios. So we want to thank the UCC church because through them we came here and started the work. And we have seen how the Hispanic church has grown in different areas, not only in the congregations, but also in the preparation of ministers. And I consider that any time that the UCC can actually support the financial, provide financial support for the growth of Hispanic uh, churches, we're gonna see greater um, spiritual growth in the children, young adults, and the adults. I want to express my gratitude to the churches of the Mass Conference for their support of Hispanic ministries. In this ministry, we are connecting to a demographic which is growing within our state and will continue to grow. But more than that, we are connecting to a people. We are connecting to the heart and soul of folks that as we grow deeper in that relationship, it is changing them, it is changing us, and allowing both of us to be more than we were separately.